Welcome back to Tuesday. Still studying the ocean and the animals that live in the ocean this week. Question of the day. Yesterday we talked about fish. Do you remember how fish breathe? So question of the day. Do fish use a nose like us to breathe? Yes? No. Think back to yesterday, there's something right here. Okay, question of the day then would be, do they breathe through a nose? No, burp, burp. no, they do not breathe through a nose. What they have to do is they have to use their mouth, boom, suck in some water, and then they filter that water through their gills. And it takes in the oxygen from the water. Do you ever notice when you like pour a glass of water, there's little bubbles that come up? That's air, that's oxygen in the water. So it takes all those little air bubbles and the uh, body takes it in and then squirts the water out of the gills. And that is how they breathe. Okay, now today we are gonna be talking about the biggest, fiercest fish in the ocean. And I know you know what that is because I wouldn't want to be next to one, would you? Dun, dun, dun. We have a shark. Now, what we're gonna do is, I want you to get a piece of paper and a pencil with an eraser, okay? We're gonna draw something. So, go get a pencil and a piece of paper. Ready, set, go! I have my paper. I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to do two times. I'm going to do one time right here, and the next time I'm going to do it up here on my paper. Are you ready? It's going to be easy. Now, if this might be a little too hard for you, should you get discouraged and sad? No. Just try your best, okay? Now I know all of you can make a straight line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a straight line and we're gonna make kind of a triangles. Triangles and lines, that's pretty much what we're doing. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over, up, down, like this. Now you don't have to do this, but it's kind of fun if you make like a little like, V on the side. Finish your triangle. Can you do that? Sure. Over, up, down. And what you can, you can just use your eraser to erase that piece right there, okay? Then you're gonna go make another line and a little triangle and another little line. So it kind of looks like a mountain, right? With a mouth. <laughs> then, we're gonna work on the fin in the back. Up, down, up. Kind of like a rhombus a little bit. Okay, then we're going to take this and go like that, make a body. Then we're gonna make two more triangles, upside down. One, and then two, like that. Then, we're gonna go up, go here, and we're gonna go down, and like that. We need an eye, we need some gills and something sharp. What should we do? What did we make? A shark. Okay, just practice this. We're gonna do it again. Flip your paper over to the other side. Let's try it again. Okay, I'm gonna put this whiteboard down. And 
Put that there. Change markers. Put this. Okay. Now we're going to try it one more time. And I'm going to make a big one because then we're going to label it. Okay? First, we have our line. So we're going to go down, up, down, boop, boop, burp. Tuck that in. Okay? And we're going to go over. Another little triangle. Over. Got it? Now we're going to take our end of the tail and we're going to go up, down, up, and we're going to go this way, and then we're going to make the upside down triangles. Give them a couple more things down here. There we go. Ooh, that looks ferocious. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna color it. Sharks are dark blue on the top. So I'm just gonna do a little shading up here. I can't color this whole thing in right now. Okay, they are dark blue. Does anybody know why they are dark blue on the top? Do you know what color water is when you're looking at it? It's the reflection of the sky, and the sky is blue, right? So water's color is naturally just kind of some blue, a little blue tint. Now if you're looking, if you're in a boat on the top of the water, and you're looking downward, you are going to see on a shark the darkness, the dark blue on the top. So it helps camouflage and it hides. So they're really hard to spot in the water. All right. So they are darker on the top and then they're white on the bottom to help camouflage. They can be sneaky, sneaky. So that's what I'm going to do. You can color your shark however you want, but I just wanted to let you know that they do hide really well in the blue sea with their dark blue tops. All right, now there's different parts to a shark. They are similar to fish, but they have a couple of different things than fish. Okay, so let's label these. We have the dorsal fin right here, just like a fish. You can color your shark while I'm teaching you about it. Okay, this is the dorsal fin. This is the eye. Ooh, there's the eye. We've got the mouth with teeth. I'm just gonna write mouth and teeth. Okay, we have gills, just like a fish. Some fish have teeth, fish have mouths, um, all fish have gills. Okay, next he's got two little fins down here to help him swim. We've also got another, uh, his pectoral fins. Pectoral fins, which means it's the bottom, and his top, which is the dorsal. And then he's got some other fins on the back here. Now, he doesn't have, let's see. Now, regular fish 
have these bottom pelvic fins, but sharks do not have that. Their pectoral fins, which this is the pectoral fin on a regular fish, but with a shark, theirs are located down here at the bottom. So that's the difference between fish and sharks. Okay, so mouth, teeth, pectoral fins, gills, eyes, dorsal fin, regular fins, and what's this? The tail, just like a regular fish tail. The tail helps them powerfully glide through the water fast. Anything else I'm missing? This one right here is a second dorsal fin. So sharks have two dorsal fins. Okay, look at that. That's the shark. That's what they're all about. So they open their mouths just like fish to let water in and then it processes through the gills. <gasps> you know what I forgot? They have nostrils. They kind of have a nose. They have a snout, which is right here. You know how pigs have a snout? And then there's like a little nostril. So they do have a nose. Nostril. And that is what they use to detect the smells of the ocean. So if they smell blood, they go woof. They're gonna go eat, because they can smell it. So, the snout and the nostril is something that they have that fish do not have. And I think that is it. So, good job drawing your shark. Keep practicing, don't get frustrated. Just try your best. All right, we're gonna take a time out to do some calendar. I hope your brains are all warmed up. I know mine is. All right, we will come back to sharks in a little bit. And then I've got a song to teach you about the food chain. Okay, here we go. We are going to get your flowers, make them bloom. We're gonna count all the way to Tuesday. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. May twelve. Hmm. What two numbers make twelve? A one and a two. Twelve. What comes next in the pattern? Do you remember? We have yellow, yellow, red, red, purple, purple, yellow, yellow, red, red, purple. Did you say purple? You're right. Purple. Hot dog. Today is Tuesday, May 12, 2020. Two, zero, two, zero. Tomorrow's Hondo's birthday. Hey, we need a tally mark. And we are going to count by fives. And when you get to the 125, you're going to, here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 125, 126, 127, 128 days of school. How do I write 128? Let's erase this from yesterday. Okay, one hundred twenty eight. Now remember when you're making your eight, you gotta make an S. S and then bring it on up to the top again. One hundred and twenty-eight days smarter. All right. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Tell me, preschoolers, what's the weather? What's the weather out today? 
Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is there snow? Tell me preschoolers, what's the weather? What's the weather? Do you know? What is it today? It's looking pretty nice out. A little bit of clouds, a little bit of sunny. Clouds are kind of moving in. I think I'm going to put this heart rate sunny and I'm going to put sunny on here because it is mostly sunny. Now tomorrow it might rain. They're calling for a little chance. We'll see what happens. Sticky came off. Okay, we've got some sunny days. One, two, three, four, five. Five sunny days, warm rainies. We're gonna run out of room pretty, pretty soon. Fly flying around here. One, two, three, four, five. We only have five more empty slots. We got lots more days of May. I wonder what's gonna happen. It's gonna go clear up to the ceiling probably. Okay, for days of the week, let's do sharp voices. And we're gonna go snap, snap, because they snap their powerful jaws. You ready? Days of the week, snap, snap. Days of the week, snap, snap. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, snap, snap. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week, snap, snap. Days of the week, snap, snap. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, snap, snap. Three questions. The Saturday bell. Let's pick him up. Okay, my three questions are, the first one is, what is today? Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. Monday, Tuesday, what will tomorrow be? Whoa, whoa. Wacky Wednesday, garbage truck day, Hondo's birthday. All right, our season is spring. It is nice and warm out still. A little cool at night, feels so good. Okay, are you ready to do more shark fun? Shark facts, bring my shark back over here. I've got a story I want to read. And it's right here. It's all about sharks. Shark life. This is this a real story or a fake story? Informational or fiction? Informational, yes. It's got real pictures and it's got real shark facts. Okay, I'm gonna come over here so I can read it to you here. Sharks are fish. They live in the ocean and breathe using their gills. They have fins and a tail. There are hundreds of different types of sharks in the world. Look at these ones. These ones are called hammerheads. The biggest sharks are whale sharks. They can grow as long as a bus. and Actually, a semi and a trailer, like over 60 feet long they can be. But guess what? They don't eat... Um, big fish. That's why all these scuba divers are swimming because they don't hurt. They're gentle giants. They don't hurt people. People actually hang on to their uh, dorsal fins and take rides for them through the ocean. The smallest sharks are dwarf dogfish sharks. Some only grow as long as your hand. So we have tiny fish and ginormous sharks. I mean, yeah, small sharks and ginormous sharks. Most sharks are small and not dangerous to people. Sharks live in oceans all over the world. They can live in cold water, they can live in warm water. Some sharks, such as goblin sharks, live very deep in the ocean. And some sharks, such as the hammerhead shark, 
swims near the surface of the ocean. Now hammerhead sharks defend themselves by swaying their heads back and forth like a hammer. Their eyes are at the ends, so they are able to see really good. Some sharks, such as the uh, wabagongs, are hard to see. Can you spot the wabagong? There it is. It's camouflaged into the rocks to hide from prey. Different sharks eat different things. Port Jackson sharks eat sea urchins and starfish. They have lumpy round teeth for crushing and grinding food. Tiger sharks are, eat big fish and dolphins. They have sharp pointed teeth for biting and cutting food. Tiger sharks are the dangerous ones and they can hurt you. Whale sharks swim with their mouths open to catch small plants and animals that live in the water. Whales do that too. Cookie cutter sharks eat parts of whales, dolphins, and big fish. They bite cookie-shaped pieces out of the sides of these large animals. Do you see that right there? They look like little cookies. Because they have that round mouth. It's kind of like a cookie cutter. Some sharks, such as cat sharks, lay eggs. Lay egg cases from which body sharks hatch. Excuse me, baby sharks hatch. Other sharks, such as reef sharks, give birth to live babies. Baby sharks are called pups. So there's the egg with the baby shark. Sharks are an important part of life in the ocean. The end. They help keep the food chain regulated. Um, speaking of the food chain, well, first of all, sharks' skin is really rough. You ever used sandpaper before? Their skin is like sandpaper, and if you were to touch certain sharks, it could cut you because the sandpaper skin is like razor sharp pieces, and they can hurt your hands. Soft skin. Did you know that sharks do not have bones? What? Go like this on your nose. Feel your ears. Do you remember what that's called? We talked about that when we were learning about our body. Cartilage. Cartilage is a soft tissue and it moves and it's flexible. So sharks are made out of cartilage. That way they can bend and turn really easily in the water. And um, their teeth, when they lose teeth, they grow new teeth back. When we lose our teeth, we only get one new tooth, right? Because your baby teeth fall out and then your adult teeth come in. But that's the only teeth that you're gonna get. Sharks, on the other hand, when they lose a tooth, boop, a new one comes right back. Um, you might be able to see shark teeth wash up onto the shore. People collect the teeth and sometimes you make jewelry out of them, like shark necklaces. What else is really cool about sharks? Cartilage bodies, no bones, awesome teeth. They can smell, they can swim for thousands of miles. Okay, now sharks eat smaller fish. Um, like a, a little shark is not gonna go and attack a big old dolphin because it's too big. That is called a food chain is when the bigger fish eat smaller fish and the smaller fish eat the littlest fish. So our food chain would be people and sometimes we eat meat, sometimes we eat vegetables, but yet vegetables don't eat anything else, right? Just nutrients in the soil and the sunlight is what they need their food. But I have a song I'm gonna teach you the whole song, it's not, well, 
It's not like for real. Because at the very end, there's a certain animal that eats, that doesn't normally eat another animal that it does in the song, but it's just funny and it's cute. Okay, I'm gonna get my little board out and I'm going to switch this down a little bit so we can see. Okay, we're gonna be talking about the food chain and the bigger fish eat the smaller fish. Just like we did last week with this fun book about bigger, bigger, bigger fish, big fish, little fish. So the big fish eats the little fish, and then the bigger fish eats the big fish, and then the biggest eats the bigger, eats the biggest the little. So it is the food chain. Our song that I'm going to teach you today is about the food chain. So the characters are a fish, you're going to go like this, and then an octopus. And it dances around like this, and you need to dance around too in your living room with this song. Okay? Then we have this fish, a tuna dude. And then we have something that goes a little bit bigger. And then something really big. Are you ready to listen to the story and the song? Here we go. Get your little fish. Great white shark, great white shark. 
something else and we're going to learn about that tomorrow. Are you ready for that? Okay, food chain. Bigger fish eat smaller fish. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Tomorrow will be Wacky Wednesday, Hondo's birthday, learn about some whales, and I think that's about it. Run, jump, and play, but don't get in anybody's way. See you tomorrow.